Hello, I'm Annika, clinical psychologist. Welcome to Errol Musk Data Virginia's channel. Errol, um, everything about the masks um, is exceptional. So, also the names of your children. Why did you name your children what you named them? Well, people may not realize it, but I think the name you give a child is very, very, very important. Um, I mean, you can't simply give a child any old name. You have to have a name that has some meaning, something important, something that means something. You can't just simply name a child uh, any old name that comes into your head. Um, that shows very little interest from the parent's side. So, I mean, imagine if it wasn't, it wasn't, hadn't been Napoleon Bonaparte, but his name was Geoffrey, Geoffrey Bonaparte. It wouldn't be quite the same as Napoleon Bonaparte, if you understand what I mean. I missed Geoffrey Adam Eating. Geoffrey yeah. Bonaparte would not have been the same. So we would all be living according to, instead of the Napoleonic Code, which most of the cities of the world operate on still today, um, um, we would be living on the Geoffrey's Code, which is different. So Geoffrey's not a bad name, but on the other hand, you name your children to, to have some meaning, some, 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 some meaning. And so um, you take um, uh, uh, Julius, Julius Caesar. Let's say his name is Johnny, Johnny Caesar. It doesn't sound the same. There yeah. a lot of people with a name John. Sure, Johnny. but but on the other hand, that's the easiest name to use. So you just pick that. Why not? It's John. So okay, but there's nothing wrong with it. But but on the other hand, give it some thought. Why is it John? Is it because you actually like the Gospel of Saint John? Then I can understand. But if you um, Somebody chose John because the first name came in your head. I think that's not right. So um, if you if, if you go back to what I was saying earlier, no, it was Johnny Caesar. It doesn't sound the same as Julius Caesar or Augustus Caesar. If his name was, um, you know, uh, uh, Ernie, Ernie Caesar. But let's go back to your children's name. Yeah, uh, so, Those... okay. So, so we go back to my children's names. Elon, when I was a child, we, um, we used to build rockets. And we used to read the books of um, Hermann Oberth, Professor Oben, Hermann Oberth and Werner von Braun. And they had these illustrated, uh, they weren't really comics, they were books, but they had illustrations. And they were in German, unfortunately, but the, 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 the adult at that time that we were with, who <coughs> <coughs> discovered Bennett's Comet, his name is Bennett, Mr. Bennett, <coughs> he... Um, he um, um, uh, would uh, tell us what the stories were saying about uh, going to planets and all that sort of stuff. And we could see the illustrations and everything. And um, uh, Werner von Braun's book, I think it was his, or it could have been Ober's book, spoke about that the head of the, um, the Mars colony would be called the Elon. Now, I remember that, but I never thought of it as a name. I never thought it was a person's name. And then when May and I got married, um, we, uh, I, I was quite amazed to discover that her father's grandfather or something had been called Elon Holderman, which was really reminded me of the stories that we had. And so I thought, well, yes, I'd like that name for Elon because it means something to me, Elon. And, um, Kimball, um, Amazing. yes, well, you know, uh, when I was in my final year of high school, the set book we had was uh, Kimball O'Hara, or rather it was called Kim by H.C. Wells. And the, it's a story about an Indian, uh, a, a white boy who gets lost in India uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in the 17th or 18th century and how he uh, survives among the Indian people and finally uh, is reunited with, uh, you know, uh, white people. And it is probably one of the most fascinating stories I've ever read in my life. And uh, I can never forget it. And, and uh, the, the, the story is about Kimball, Kimball O'Hara. And so for that reason, I wanted my son's name to be Kimball. So he was named Kimball. Tosco, well, when I was in my first year at high school, the... Um, head girl was a girl called Tosca Serva and I'd never heard the name before and she was from Hungary or somewhere 
and um, and she was the head girl and I of course was only about 12 or 13 and she was you know uh, 17 18 and she seemed like a goddess to me and uh, if she spoke to you you know you you felt like you know wow my day's made you know because and she was so beautiful and and her name was Tosca Server and I never forgot the name I always thought wow I'll never forget that that woman and then when I had this little girl Tosca I thought no I, I would like her to be Tosca for me and uh, Alexander uh, Alexandra um, um, well Elon was uh, studying at university uh, in America he, he used to send me uh, he, one of his sub subjects was uh, ancient history, and he would send me underlined or highlighted sections of um, books on Alexander the Great. And the two of us entered into a lengthy discussions about Alexander the Great, myself and Elon, and, and how wonderful and how amazing this, this individual was. A real, you could say, perhaps alien, you know, uh, like Napoleon. And... Anyway, uh, to this day, we still use the coinage system that um, that Alexander created, and uh, much of the world was affected by that that man who, who was unfortunately dead at thirty one. But um, at the time, my daughter Alexandra was born, so we we chose the, I chose the name Alexandra because it seemed so apt. You see. And then my youngest daughter um, is named Asha. Now Asha, it's A-S-H-A, -A, is the female vers version of Asha, which is A-S-H-U-R. Now Asher is the oldest known name in humanity. And it stems back to the Assyrians and beyond, further back, it goes as far back as humanity can count. And the female of Asha, who was considered the god, the god who had come from another planet and had come here and created humanity. That's the actual um, legend. It's not, uh, it's, it's quite fascinating. And the female version is Asher, uh, so I chose the word, the name Asher for Rose. She's Asher. We call her Rose because at the same time as she was born, the Titanic movie came out, and everybody said, "Well, we're going to call her Rose because we all love Titanic, the movie, so much." So we call her, so she's known as Rose, but her first name is Asher. But she has a double name. Asher Rose. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So she's Asher. And uh, I subsequently found out, of course, that there are many, many Indian girls with the name Asha, and I didn't know that. So I was quite surprised later on to discover on my travels through places where a lot of Indian people lived that uh, the name Asha is very, very common. Yeah, oh. yeah. And Rashi's name? Oh, Rashi. Well, yes. Rashi, uh, I named after someone who I listened to for maybe... I don't know, 30 years, Rush Limbaugh, who was a, a broadcaster in the United States who unfortunately passed away recently. And he had a show called The Rush Limbaugh Show. And from the very beginning that I went to the United States, remember going to the United States, I would listen to this show as it started and grew and grew and grew. And the sense that this man spoke was absolutely astonishing to me his, his, he was astonishing his, his astonishing ability to, 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 to talk sense and so the name just uh, remained with me and so I thought if I ever had a son again which I didn't at that time think I would have but I did have this son the name that I could only think of choosing was Rush after Rush Limbaugh Oh, thank you, Errol. That is special. Yeah, very yeah. interesting. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you.